Hello, my name is Linda. In this video, I am talking to you about the book Dear the Lost Mudlots, Day of the Dead, written by Gabriel Fimbres. Introduction Up ahead, skull puppets float in the air and skeletons dance in the street. Drummers march and children wear masks and cardboard wings. You ask a woman with a painted face what's happening. She tells you it's a parade that honors friends and family who have died. It's a Dear the Lord's Myrtles parade. When and where? People in many parts of the world celebrate Dear the Lord's Myrtles or the Day of the Dead. People in Mexico have celebrated holidays like Dia de los Muertos for thousands of years. All over the United States, people hold Day of the Dead parades and celebrations. These celebrations usually take place around November 1st and 2nd. Is it Halloween? Day de los Muertos might seem like Halloween, but two holidays are different. Halloween is often about scaring people. Day de los Muertos is a hap time of happening and joy. Some people in certain culture believe the spirits of loved ones come home to visit. People remember, honor, and celebrate those who have died. In San Francisco, California, about 15,000 people carry candles and photos of loved ones who have died. Austin, Texas has the largest parade and costume contest to celebrate Day of the Dead. In Tucson, Arizona, more than 30,000 people march in a parade. Lydia's Be the Lost Models Growing up in Mexico, Lydia Helen Cooper celebrated the other Los Moreto. Lydia and her family spent every November 2nd at the cemetery. The family brought flowers and a picnic. They told stories about those who have died. Bands played special song in honor of the dead. Lydia and the other children danced and played all day at the cemetery. Dia de los Muertos was always a happy day for Lydia. She spent it remembering those she loved. Lydia lives in the United States now. She and her family march in the parade in Tucson every year. Walking in the parade reminds her of celebrating Dia de los Muertos when she was a little girl. In the days before the parade, Lydia makes masks. She shoves newspapers and soaks it in the water. She mixes the wet newspaper with flour and glue. Lydia turns the mixture into mask. When the mask was a die, children and adults pin them and wear them in the parade. Day of the Dead for Children Some cities have a Day of the Dead celebration for children. Children decorate cardboard wings to wear in the special parade. They make loud noise makers and learn tricks. They paint their face and put on costumes. Authors Dia de los Moretos has many other traditions. Some people put altars in their homes to welcome a spirit of loved ones. The altars are covered with cloth and decorated with photos of a person who has died. It might include a favorite item or piece of clothing of the loved one. The family lights candles around the altars. They also make bread, card, pandemic models, or bed of the dead for the adult. A family may also leave a flavored juice or other drink, orange and yellow marigolds, or other flowers, silicon, soys, and dust also decorate the adults. 
Do you know? Some believe that miracles help the spirits of loved ones find the way home. This is why they often place on altars. People will sometimes socket marigold petals from their loved one graves to the family from door. Sukal search and art. Some people who celebrate the their last miracles make sugar shock. People decorate the sugar shock with colorful frosting. Children in Mexico and the United States love eating the sweet souls. Some artists plant colorful pictures in honor of see the lost models. The painting show Philippines dancing, playing music, and celebrating. The art is a way to celebrate children's uh, friends and family members who have died. Full of life, dear the lost models help people to feel better after losing someone they love. Marching in a parade or decorating others can help them remember their special person. No other holiday is so full of fun, costumes, life, masks, joy, memories, and love. The end. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.